Hello everybody, a couple of days ago McGranger had at the Fotokina a very great interview with uh, an employee from Carl Zeiss, a brand Dr. Hubert Nasse, who really passionate about, uh, was uh, really passionate about uh, lenses and really could explain everything little tiny things from light what is um, reflected back from the sensors through the lens and and things about uh, focusing issues that call that are um, causing chromatic aberrations and all this kind of stuff a very very great interview and of course for most of us I guess this brought this already a uh, famous brand a little more in the spotlight because I think that if I'm going for glass now I will uh, definitely put a uh, car size glass into the equation and then uh, I have to have a look at what I plan to shoot uh, how I want to use that lens uh, where I want to use it and where I don't want to use it and this is, I think, uh, very important uh, when you consider a new lens, especially if it's not uh, uh, that cheap. And I also want to have a look at prices here. And for this, for this purpose, I have uh, visited here my uh, main gear vendors page. So um, let's have a look at first. We see here the uh, car sites. I for this video I just took the uh, 85 millimeter 1.4 lens uh, for the Canon and Nikon version because this is uh, this is just what I want to compare here. The prices are both uh, the same for both camera brands and. Um, where would I use this lens is the first question 85 millimeter I choose this one because it's a uh, the perfect portrait lens as we all know and I would use it mainly for studio work or for yeah, just for portraiture in fact I don't see it that uh, much in street photography the reason for this is easy put the uh, fact that it doesn't has any uh, autofocus if you are doing uh, street photography you really you really want to use uh, autofocus and don't want to fiddle around the when with manual uh, focus um, so the question is anyway even though if you are just in the studio and you are focusing how does it work because uh, you will see the end result in first instance if you are not shooting tethered so through your computer and then see the result immediately on your big screen but just on your um, but if you see just on the back of your camera it's uh, never 100% accurate what you see and you can have very disturbing surprises if you are just have this as your reference but um, no autofocus doesn't mean that there is no support in your focusing at all because if you choose to uh, press the uh, shutter button half there will be this uh, reaction of your focus point in the camera it will also make the beep if you if you didn't have uh, disabled it and uh, the camera will tell you that it's sharp so it it's not a totally blind flight if you are uh, manually focusing with this lens and of course in the studio you have just more time just more relaxing atmosphere to really work it it's not in street photography you don't have it because the situations they are over at the very instant they began and uh, you just have I think if you use it in street photography it's very you have a lot of lucky shots most likely than uh, deliberate uh, good shots 
and therefore I don't see it uh, uh, of very much value in uh, street photography. But as I said, would love to use it in portrait photography. As you can see, the uh, Canon and the uh, Nikon version at the time of uh, making this video are both 1129 euro. And for the comparison, uh, when I have a look at the Canon side, I have to say that here the Canon side has just the 1.2. There is no card size 1.4, uh, 1.2, but it there is not, sorry, there is no 1.2 at the Carl Zeiss side. And at the Canon side, you don't have the 1.4. If the price difference of 500, or oh sorry, six, more than 650, 600, yeah, nearly 650, uh, uh, 630 euro wouldn't play a role then I have to say that I would with no doubt go to the Canon. Uh, it has the uh, autofocus. It's one of the most excellent uh, premium pieces of glass there is. I saw this in uh, many, many uh, uh, reviews on other channels and uh, also on photo evidence. And um, I think if this would be the issue, this money, I really would have to check them out live, not just uh, going off what somebody says or somebody shows, but really put these lenses on my camera, go to the store, put them on the camera, take shots, and then decide is this price difference worth it. The same thing um, is true on the Nikon side. Here you see the uh, also for the Nikon side they just have the 1.4 and the uh, Nikon itself has a Nikkor uh, lens from 1.4 so uh, as you can see this is also um, 30 Euro cheaper than the uh, than the Carl Zeiss version, and in this case, uh, even though there is um, uh, autofocus in the uh, Nikon, I really would love to see uh, the difference be between these two. In this case, this is one more reason to really go to the shop and put both lenses in front of your camera and then decide on the basis of what you uh, what you shoot uh, whether or not you go for the size or for the Nikon version. I would tend pure uh, from the price of course and, and that makes total sense as we all know that the Nikon lenses are very good. Uh, I would go for the Nikkor in this case if I were, if I were a Nikon shooter, but I definitely would uh, consider putting both lenses in front of my camera to really uh, see where are the uh, differences. And if I would shoot in studio more than anything else anyway, uh, I would have one reason more to do so. so in fact, these are my two cents. I could have put the Carl Zeiss Otis lenses into the equation, uh, but then we talk about lenses from three, four thousand euro, and um, I, I think uh, we should keep it in a manageable way for everybody, manageable uh, uh, way for the comparison because. Uh, you don't uh, compare a Rolls Royce with a with an Opel Vectra or something like that, and uh, yeah. So I hope this helps a little bit for your decision making or for you, especially uh, for your curiosity to test things, to test different products yourself on your camera, 
and uh, I wish you happy shooting with whatever lens you use. Uh, most important thing is that you get creative and that you get the most out of the gear that you already have. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.